and then you just get a bunch of bots. All right, the reason I always grab cave round one is because four cave and warriors are strong. So you kind of just play towards that. At least I do. I've been playing for one month and got to rook without using the wizards. Nice, rook is strong for one month. Yeah, a lot of you guys are like just getting into the game and you guys are like catching on really fast. You guys are going to be like really good um, in like next seasons. I just won with nine warriors, probably the bot championship lobby I was put in, but hey, a win's a win, beer. All right, we shouldn't go mage, but I see a magic of crystal. My mind goes mage. But uh, okay, there's no bots. This these guys are all playing the game, so let's pretend. Let's just let's just be strong. Let's put a strong unit in here. Hell Knight, very strong early. Watching pro lobby shows the mechanic better than the explanation. Yeah, I can't be. Resist the mage. I can't. I'm too weak. I can't resist. I cannot. Alright, we'll challenge ourselves to not go mage. Watch us not get top 3 now. And anti-mage about to hit queen. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, anti-mage. Yeah, I think anti-mage is going to try to go for number 1 again, I want to say. I think he could do it. Just play what you want to play? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just trolling. If it just so happens to be 9 mages again, if I get a pulse right here, I'll probably play 9 mage. Put 9 sins? Ooh, we could. But if we don't have a wooden club, I wouldn't play it. My stream helped a lot. I played in my free time. Oh, there it is. So it's definitely not mage. Let's uh, let's grab you. I'm down to play some warriors. We haven't played warriors at all, and we do have a shadow edge we can uh, start with. So yeah, let's let's go some warriors. Who's down for some warrior action? Um, go our golly. This will grab our shadow edge. We'll put it on the Hell Knight. And that is our round four. Yeah, anti mage is number two. Nice. Yeah, I think he'd get number one. He, he could do it. I just got first with nine warriors. Never found a coin for cleave. Alright, did you have like more of a range carry then? Like Zerker or Lancer? Man, this Frost Knight. What the hell? All three items committed. Alright, so these guys came to play. Much stronger lobby than before. Much, much, much stronger. I guess we should just grab the armor. Yeah. Glacial Knight's Avenge carry. I could put Glacial in there. But I can't, uh, I wouldn't be able to keep my warriors. Or level, I mean. <laughs> Two Glacial Knights, let's go. I'm a master level chess player. Saw this on Hikaru's stream and gave it a try. Nice, I've actually been trying to learn chess, love. I, I, I'm trying to learn chess. I've been playing it a bit on my off time and uh, I'm just learning like the, the basics right now. I've been watching a ton of Hikaru on YouTube. I'm just trying to soak it all in. But my plan is to play chess. Like my plan is to ideally get partner uh, and then start like putting in some more variety games and uh chess chess is up there I want to do auto chess and chess content this year As in like not actually probably no YouTube chess, but more like just for the stream just for funds So yeah, if you guys ever want to help me learn chess or backseat me while we play chess you guys would be more than welcome to so pog champs, yo, if I get invited, I'm, I'm too small, but hey, in the future, maybe Slav, maybe. We only get six semifinals, yeah, six total, six total. I can't help but be competitive and get as much of it as possible. Yeah, every, you and a lot of us else, Kobe. Everyone likes to play competitively. 
You also come from Ricardo's vids? Nice, Kimchi. Yeah, a lot of people came from chess. It's just like the natural like uh, affinity to strategy games. We just like like using our brains, right? So whether it's chess, whether it's card games, it's just something about like um, strategy games that really appeals to not only me, but I'm assuming a lot of you guys as well in the chat. Cause me, I played a ton of card games like growing up. All right, where's our freaking warriors? I'm like over here waiting for warriors. I'm like glacial one right now. Wow, and this uh. This emote thingy has an abyssal guard. Are warriors gonna be like super contested this lobby? I wouldn't doubt it. Poker night streams? I, I could do poker. I kind of low key wanna have like a blackjack day uh, where we put like real money and like just fuck around. Not a lot of money. We're not Ludwig, all right? But I see Ludwig, I've been watching a lot of Ludwig and his uh, Blackjack streams, and they're hilarious. So maybe Blackjack Day with uh, my brother or something like that, we'll see. Could be fun. Yeah, this in Hearthstone? Yeah, a lot of people do play Hearthstone. I keep seeing Glacier Knight with Tortilla for books, is this a real build? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I can't play chess, but Monopoly, I'm in A. Nothing wrong with Monopoly, that's a classic teach you about capitalism <laughs> uh, all right let's see what we can find bro egg egg in four cave sell everything and put four cave in uh i don't mind i guess Four cave better than whatever we had, right? No, oh, but this is a two star abyssal guard. And he had the tab witcher for my demon carry. Feels bad. Hearthstone his cheeks play Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, a couple of you guys coming from Runeterra as well. I like both games. I never really played Hearthstone. I did play Runeterra though. I think Hearthstone was just a bit before me. Knights wouldn't have won here anyways. This is not really warriors, unfortunately. I thought this would just be like a brain dead warrior game. We get top two. That's what I was hoping for. We could always high roll the Doom though. I'll stick to MTG. I saw uh, MTG Arena was getting a mobile client, so I was thinking of giving it a try. I used to play a lot of Magic Arena uh, before I started playing Auto Chess. And we actually, me and my brother climbed to Mythic in MTG, so we definitely played a lot. I used to watch, I keep up with the tournaments and stuff, or used to. I hit max rank in Rogue Company, then got bored because none of my friends play. Oh, are you from Rogue Company, beer? Or do you also just play it? Because we played Rogue Company for like five months. We like gave it a good... Wow, the nine mages. When well, we should have got it. What is MTGA? Uh, Magic Arena. Magic Arena. It's just the online client for Magic. Guys. That Tortilla is looking at us like, why didn't you go 9 mage? You should have gone 9 mages, you fool. Yep, and I'm over here like, you're right, I should have gone 9 mage. Why am I forcing warriors into everyone else going warriors? I found this game kind of random, saw Brawl Stars content creator play random other games each week and AC was one. Oh, so you, so you were more of like a mobile gamer from Brawl Stars? Nice, yeah. Auto chess, they should do like well we have like the ESO mobile open that is uh more than likely gonna be supporting auto chess again, hopefully. So that's like that's like a big tournament for, for AC. Um Alright, this is this is what I'm 
gonna do we risk it all here put in beast for cave clan warrior let's go let's go Nick at night and Mo got me into this way back when. Oh, I remember those guys. I remember when they were playing this game. They used to stream it alongside Claytano and Excoundro. Well, I thought Auto Chess has a mobile version. It does have a mobile version. It's mobile, PC, and PlayStation. Nick and Mo played AC. Yeah, Nick at night and Mo both were like going hard on Auto Chess. They were streaming it daily. Back when Auto Chess was at its peak. Yo, and Abdul, how's it going? Welcome back. I just played a bunch of random games, found Auto Chess gave it a try about a month ago, and went from only goblins to being night one in a month. Nice, learning fast there. Yeah, Auto Chess is just so addicting, honestly. I mean, imagine having like more than more two stars than just this. I might just grab more hammers. Not combine it, but this is like super late with the Lancer. This is gonna help us keep the streak. We could even arguably make this, but I'm not. Actually, wait a second. If there's no mage, I'll make it. Taz is the only player that could go mage, but he's going knights instead. There's gonna be zero mages this lobby. I think I'm actually gonna make this. Assuming I keep the streak, right? It's gonna be very close. I don't even know if we keep it. Oh no, if the venom hits the 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 water or the stone, we're dead. It has to hit the red axe. No Venom 2 star why? Come on, I needed my streak. Too bad Clash Royale is a bit dead now. Yeah, it's having a hard time. Ooh, transition insectoid. I'm down. Go Cave Clan Kira into insects. That's the play. We got the egg for Venno. Boom. We're not going nine warriors anymore. We're going Kira. Easy. Easy Kira here. I think. <laughs> I think. We're not seeing the warriors, so. I'm gonna go insects. I figured out the game plan. Next round, Doom. Oh, th then I would have to reconsider. We'll see. We'll see. Six Cave Kira. I don't know about Six Cave Kira. I'm down for just uh, Insectoid Kira. That'll be fine with me. Beefy, beefy Kira. Yeah, I mean, Cave Clan Kira is a great transition for Insectoid Kira. The only kind of messed up part was I, I pushed to keep my streak, but we didn't keep it. You're kidding me. You're absolutely kidding me. Oof. Get out of here. Uh, You and you and give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah, that Venomancer was everything I needed. There we go! We got Kira online! This is an easy game from here. Very easy. Full cave plan Kira holds. And now we just try to get to 8 or 9 and dig for insects. Any melee dies, Kira gains HP. Exactly, and all Cave Clans are melee units, so it's like a good synergy. Four Cave Clan gives Venno a ton of HP, and when they die, give them more HP, more attack. So I love Cave Clan transition into Insects. I think it's strong. Especially with a Venno coming in round 14. Like, are you kidding me? That is amazing. You see, it, it just re it rewarded me. Like... It knew I shouldn't go warriors until it just it rewarded me. I'm so happy. <laughs> there we go. We win this game. Easy win here coming up. Nothing beat insects. Maybe six agresses with a stack DK. Maybe sacred lancer nine warriors, I guess, but they're not gonna get there. You've not seen insects in a while? Alright, well we're gonna streak until level nine and um we'll we'll start rolling for insects there. 
Here comes another tuber. We'll see. We'll see. Divinity spirits. Oh, true. Divinity spirits does this. Uh, this hurt. You're right about that. But there's no one going divinity this lobby or mage, so I don't see how anyone gets to divinity spirits. I would love another armor. Uh, blink. I don't think we need blink. There's no nine mage. This is okay, but I would love a um. A barbaric instead though but we may just take it i think we still take this though yeah we'll take it we'll keep my veno alive we're not gonna worry about uh leveling these up we just want to get to nine and roll for uh, insects are insects good against words i'd like to think so yeah i think so i feel like hammer staff combo needs to be buffed slightly to make it better against veno warp wood oh oblivion it did get buffed though it did get buffed, like in the most recent patch. Yeah, I think insects are strong against warriors for sure. They're just harder to pull off. But with Venno 2, I don't think we drop around until we go to none. Ice armor is good though, yeah, but barbaric is even better for Venno at least. But yeah, this is gonna help me maintain the streak. I, like I said, I don't think we lose until we're level nine. That Venno on 14 was everything. What is the insect cop does? Uh, it summons a ton of three stars insect sea balls. You're about to see it. We're going insectoids this game. The hardest unit to find in insectoids is the two star venomancer, and we already found it. So everything else is simple from here. Very very simple. You just put. Do you have cleave? Yes, we have cleave already. We had it on our uh, stone spirit because we were going warriors. But yeah, once we get insects, I'll, uh, I'll explain more. So the reason we're trying to go to 9 is because we're looking for a ton of 4 costs. And at 9, um, so it's 15% at 8, and I think 20% at 9. So at 9 is going to give us the best chances to um, to find the units we need. So I'm just going to level to 9 and then we'll start digging. Yeah, you, you'll see. Insects is a, is a very cool comp. I really like insects. It's just kind of hard to pull off. But once you get it, it's like, it's so, it's so strong. Always bench roll Venno before rolling? Kono, how confident are you that bench rolling is real? I'll trust you. If you tell me it's real, I'll believe it. If you and Anti-Mage tell me it's real, I believe it. What is Anti-Mage's opinion on bench rolling? Is Feather good against Warriors and Knights? Yeah, kind of, Exhum. Kind of. Drax, it is real. Bench rolling's fake, I don't care. Oh my, I feel like the community split on bench rolling. I don't actually know what's real and not real myself. Just throw in another melee for another Cure stack. I don't even care what it is. Havoc says it's fake. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's real or not, I'll be honest. Add a 3 star Venno and 1 extra Venno from bench rolling. It's real? Yeah, but it could also be RNG. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's like, it's so random. That's the problem. Like, sometimes bench rolling will work for you. Sometimes it doesn't. It's like really hard to say. What is bench rolling? Bench rolling is the... Uh, I guess you could call it a theory. Uh, when you put a unit on your bench, it increases the odds of seeing that set that same unit. So if you put uh, like a Venomancer two star on your bench, it supposedly increases your chances of hitting a Veno. Oh, but yeah, technically bench rolling is mainly for when you three star a unit. So the way the game works, once you three star a unit, you don't see any more of those units in the shop, right? They just disappear. Like, if you have a 3-star Warped Sage on your board, you won't find any in the shop. But if you if you put your 3-star Warped Sage on the bench and roll, you can now find Warped Sages in the shop. So it's just a, a mechanic for 3-stars to find them. But people do believe that putting any units on your bench increases the chances. It's not, like, confirmed, but a lot of people, like, a lot of high-level people believe in it. So it could be real, honestly. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bench roll the Venno. Why not? I believe you guys. I don't care if it's real or not. We have an empty bench. We got plenty of room to bench roll. So 
Venom, you better miss my... Wow, it actually hit my Venomancer. It feels bad. That better not cost me. It's not. It is a myth, rumor that you put the bench... Yeah, exactly. It's a theory. <laughs> Alright, as I said, we weren't going to drop our streak, hitting Venomancer 2-star that early. And there we go, our first insect. Love to see it. We'll even replace this. So this is, this is the insects we want a bunch of. Bro, you break that stuff down so well. I'm glad. Hopefully I do. I mean, I just have a lot of knowledge with it, I guess. Best stream to learn from? Hey, thank you so much, man. Better to buy the other 4 cost units on the row down to improve the chances of pulling the one you want. Bench rolling doesn't work. Alright, so Barbarian's saying bench rolling doesn't work. Alright. I mean, I, I really think it depends on who you ask. I think some people believe in it, some don't. But it's like, it doesn't hurt if you have the APM to do it, so... I'm probably gonna do it. We'll, we'll test it this game. Let's see how... Let's see how bench rolling works. If we, like, put this thing on my bench and we see, like, triple Venno, I'll probably believe it. We'll see. Alright, that's not bench rolled. That's not bench rolled. Alright, put another cure in. And we don't have to roll too far down. We're still super strong. We're just looking for any insects. Yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. This is plenty of cure stacks here. Um, I don't really care for blink. There's no non-mage. I'm just going to go for hard-hitting crit right now. So, big boy crit. Your RNG is too good this game. Yeah, the RNG is coming back. How long have you been playing AC? Uh, it's probably approaching two years. I've been playing since nearly the beginning. I started playing uh, Dota Auto Chess back in May or April of 2019. So approaching two years. What is RNG? RNG is a word for randomness. I think it stands for random number generator, but people use it as a term for randomness. It just means it's left to random. It's just RNG. That's a... Uh, there's no, uh, nothing's influencing it, it's just random. That's what RNG means, Abdul. So, let's put this on here, and let's, uh, see if we get some- We're bench rolling, alright? There's the Thorn Predator, this is why we go to 9. There's the Lord of Sand, we're looking for the last one, Thorn Predator, incredible. Uh, we could do Doom over you for now. I'll sell this. Let's, uh, let's just put this back. So we're just missing the poisonous worm here. And we can start transitioning insects. Anything you put something while bench rolling, you just remember it more than without bench rolling. So you think it works? The human mind is special. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Wow, and putting in the Doom actually helping out. Being able to take down this Warped Sage here with that Doom ulti. Alright, good luck taking down my beefy Venom with all max stacks. I'm pretty sure I have 7 in, right? I'm bopping them with that crit. There we go. There's a hack for increased RNG. Deep Blue has it. Yeah, Deep Blue played extremely well yesterday. Beat some very big names in the community. So with insectoids, you would think you would combine it, but you don't want to combine it just in case you do see an egg. So, granny's cool, we don't need it. Spider. Alright, it's almost time. Almost time. I want to have uh, slightly better insects though. And like another 4 costume. So one more Venno and I'll transition. One more Venno, or another Thorn, and we'll, we'll switch. But yeah, this is an easy first place. Oh wait, this guy has a Granny? Yeah, my Venno is looking so good right now. These are like really good items for Venno. And we have so much gold on our board that we can sell as well. So wait, no one ended up going Warriors? What happened to all the Warrior players? I swear there's gonna be war Warriors. Does Venno 1 Star not count as a dupe of Venno 2? Yeah, it does count as a dupe. It definitely counts as a dupe. There we go. So Ventrolin, not really a work in here. 
I don't even do I even want the doom? I don't even care. Yeah, I mean it's it's time. Let's uh let's go ahead and drop these. Uh I'm just gonna egg I know we could egg the the, the other Venno, but it's alright. I'm just gonna throw a Venno here. Yep, this is perfect. So we got three duplicates here. Yeah, yeah. So keep an eye on these middle three dupes. These guys are gonna transform into three star insectoids. So the ones asking me what they do, you're about to see it. If they even die. These guys are not looking very strong. So one summon a spider queen. And the other ones didn't even die. What? Oh my god. The idea is to just summon a bunch of uh, insects. A bunch of 3 star insects. So you'll see like a 3 star Lord of Sand. 3 star Poisonous Worm. Yeah, but no one really went like, okay, nine warriors online finally. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, so these uh, these duplicates of the four cost. So we have a duplicate of Thorn, and then we have two duplicates of Venno. So this is what's going to spawn these three-star insects. Oh, and thank you. That feeling when they aren't even strong enough to kill your dupes, I'm saying, what the heck? But yeah, I'm glad we went insectoids. We haven't done insects in a while, and I feel like a lot of you guys haven't seen insects, so... That's why pulling off insects in weekly tourneys is auto ban or DQ. Yeah, insects are so toxic because they deal so much damage to the opponent. It's hilarious. Mm. I don't even know what I want. I don't even think we care. Like, armor's cool. We can grab a halberd. I think we win regardless. Just gonna pulse this thing. I'm not blinking. Yeah, it could be armor, it could be Halberg. It literally doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep whatever we have for round 30. Zaf, can you make a tutorial on which items to use for chess pieces? Yeah, I do need to make an I have an item video, but it's definitely outdated, so I agree. I need another one. Alright, so this is a strong matchup. Alright, so one Thorn Predator, two star. What else we got here? Another thorn. Okay, so we finally get one three star. We got a poisonous worm three star. So he's gonna spawn a bunch of uh, bunch of guards here. Oh, and we got a thorn predator three star. There we go. Now we're seeing some insects online. There we go. Yes, I've watched the previous. Yeah, I do need to make a new one. I completely agree. All right, that one would be next. So meta, and then, and then this one. All right, I guess we just do this. Uh, I'll just stack this for now since I want it to live. We could honestly just go to 10. This game's over. Let's just put another melee unit for more Kira stacks, and we got it. That's broken, the instant comp. Yeah, one of the best comps in the game. It's just hard, very hard, very expensive comp. Very, very expensive. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of a typo there. Not incest, but insects. Insects. What does Thorn do? I never read his proc. Uh, Thorn, uh, he does reflect damage and like stuns. Yeah, GG. This game's over. <laughs> the incest cop. I've learned so much about item management from you and Wills. No longer combining items ASAP. Or using the option cards until you need to. Yeah, combining items is very useful, especially when uh, waiting till round thirty sometimes, because uh, that's when you get your legendary. We are gonna bench for our Venno. Let's let's test this theory out. Wow, more eggs. All right, I don't want to go that low now. We're still healthy. You're bench rolling your eggs? <laughs> yeah, I guess. We got a ton of eggs. I'm gonna try to get a Venno 3 star before this game is over. Let's try to do it. So we got a Spider Queen 3, a Poisonous Worm 3. Look how much damage. I think we may just kill them in one shot. 25 damage. 
24 damage. Oh my god. Insects are toxic. Yeah, if you really want to upset someone's day, you go insects. This is how you completely ruin someone's day. What happens to the items when a dupe transforms? The items, uh, if the dupes have items, they just go away. It doesn't transfer or anything. Dupe eggs turn into three star. Yeah, if we get one more Venomancer, we instantly have a Venom three. So I'm gonna try to get one more Veno and get it. Four eggs already? It's the egg rhythm, according to a Bombi. It's the egg rhythm. Once you see one egg, you keep seeing eggs. Alright, so championship game went pretty well. We got a second and a first first, so we're looking solid to qualify, I would say. <laughs> eggs go ver. I like that, I like that. This is madness? Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? So we got the cattle hide, so we'll probably grab this, assuming we get that uh, race shard. Oh, but this game is over by round 21. Feels bad. This game is over. I'm gonna roll here. Bench roll here. Yeah, this game's over. Insectoids killed off super fast. You can use the eggs as dupes? I guess you can. I want to do it for a 3-star, though. Throw off units to the bench, just give the guy a chance? Oh my god, should I really? And Abdul, my, uh, I think you may have mistyped that. My creator code is right there. If you want to use it. Rafe. Uh. Let's go with Heaven's Gift, then. Oh my god, I don't even know if that worked. Three star Venomancer, and we'll we'll throw a PCAP in. Why not? Three star Veno for the win. Round 31. GG, everybody. That was an easy game. We saw the Veno round 14 and didn't even lose from there. What an easy game. Easy game, easy life. I wish my rank games would go like this. <laughs> Bog, you king yet? No, we ended up losing two games, Tuggers. We got to 197 and then lost two back to back at the beginning of the stream. So we fell down to like 147. Yeah, championship poggers first for a second. All right, looking good to make a little finals run if it stays this way. And yeah, that was insectoids. Wow, that's strong. Yeah, try it out. Try insectoids when you guys get the chance. The key units you want to look out for when trying to go insects is uh, never have insects as your plan A. Like go go six bees, go a goblin, go hunter, six hunter, go, go something that like is established first. And if you high roll like a Venomancer and an egg, or a Venomancer and one of the four cost insects, then you can be like, okay, maybe I can go insects. But you never start with a game plan insects first. You always got to start with something else. It's usually like six beasts. I don't have the APM yet. I will soon. Yeah, APM comes with time. I've been playing this game for close to two years, so that's where the APM comes from.